Hello there, I'm Caesar, and yes, this is the same car, uh, just different day, and a brand new video for you. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to show you uh, basically how to do a front and rear disc brake replacement. I'm going to be changing the rotors and the uh, brake pads. So uh, it's basically complete. Front's basically the same as the rear. Uh, some vehicles may be different. I never did it on this vehicle. I didn't really get a chance to look at what kind of system there is in the rear. Uh, from the looks of it, it's probably a disc drum combination. So uh, we'll find out. Stay tuned. Now first things first. Make sure to take the wheels off before loosen them before you jack it up. And you can jack it up. jack it enough so you can get your jack stand up under there so let's go check that out now all right then you gotta slowly let the jack down so the jack stand can engage. Just take a look at the Here we go. We're secure on jack stands. Next is take the lug nuts off. The wheel is loose, but you down there. Here's what we're working with. As you know, in the previous video, where I showed you how to remove the stuck rotor screw, right there. All right, now these rotors do need some replacing. As you can see, there are ridges. If you can feel it, trust me, you would feel it. And here's a nice big groove right here that's supposed to be there also it also helps that uh, I check the uh, throw out thickness which is a thickness from here to here and it's uh, it's already past the maximum so uh, we're gonna be replacing the rotor uh, the pads actually look pretty good I did 
replaced the pads a few months ago. That's when I noticed the rotors needed to be replaced. So uh, we'll double check on the pads, see if they need replacing. Hopefully not. All right, all right, first things first. I need to take this retaining spring uh, plate. It's uh, basically what's holding the, uh, the brake pads down. In order to do that, you have to get this bolt right here. This comes out, and then I gotta get a punch and push this pin out. For that, you need a hammer. I'm gonna use the same hammer I used the other on the other video, 32 ounce ball peen hammer, and a punch. Alright, so this happens to be half inch size. So going to get trusty ratchet and half inch bit. Next part, you might want to wear some gloves just in case you bang your hands. You don't want to bang your knuckles. Take a punch, put it right here. Take your hammer and whack the punch this way. Might need to move little bit this way to see it get a better view and a better angle for me That, now you get it off. Now, next thing you need to do, if you can't do it by hand, which in this case I can't, you gotta pry gently without breaking anything. Pry the brake pads back. That will push in caliper pistons. Just enough so you can pull the brake pads out. Now, unfortunately, that really big groove that I showed you on the uh, rotor, you can see it right there. That is not good.
All right, now that we have the pads off, these bolts right here, that one, and this one where I got the socket on, I had to break them both loose. Uh, they're really tight on there. But these are basically the two bolts that are holding this whole caliper in place. So now, let's take those bolts off, now that they're broken down. Let's take a look at that right now. Get your ratchet. That happens to be... Half inch drive, half inch drive, 13-16 socket. I used the impact socket for the simple fact that I did need to, uh, I needed a strong socket that wouldn't break. Because, uh, as you can see, with this one right here, it cracked. So, that's why you might need to use an impact socket on some of these uh, tight bolts. So. One down, one to go. Yeah, it should be a hand. Yeah. Been uh, harder to move. I anticipate it. Now, just. Whack the old one off. I want a glove to put these on. Take the new one.
All right, what I did there was just line up the, uh, the new rotor with the uh, wheel hub holes. Now, got to get this bolt back in to the caliper. That bolts right back into the mounting bracket. Don't put it in all the way yet. Just get them in there. One thing I use to hold the caliper uh, rotor in place is the actual lug nut. Now that that's in place, continue tightening up the caliper bolt. and tight. Tight. All right, now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it to the AutoZone, which is where I got these pads, and I'm assuming that these pads are softer material than uh, the rotors. So this groove will eventually even out. So put the same ones back in. This is what I use to compress 
these pistons. Like I said, there's three over here. There's also three more here. So, just basically compress it. Then you could get at least one of the pads in. Now, go to the other side, start doing the same. Make sure you don't press up on the boot of the piston just the piston itself. Now I'll take you out of the pad. And that's in there, just like that. Now, next thing you want to do, start putting everything back in reverse order. The only thing you have left to do in this case is put the plate on that holds the uh, brake pads in place. Then you got to put the pin. Uh, before that, I actually forgot to mention I did buy new sensors, so. Like I said, I'm going to take this sensor off, but before I take this sensor off, I am going to uh, put the new sensors on the pads themselves. So let's get those out right now. Now, you want to make sure you have the right sensor. This small one is for the rear brakes. This long one is for the front. because the sensor goes right into here. There's a notch here. See that notch right there? And there is another notch here. The wire goes through this notch and has to make its way all the way up here. That's why the long one goes in the front. So, uh, let's do that right now. Uh, here's the new sensors. I got them on. Uh, I actually just realized that while I was recording it, putting it on, um, my battery died. So I had to go recharge it. As you can see, it got a little darker out since then. Uh, yeah, so now that this was in there to hold it in place. But basically, now all you have to do. Now that everything is in place, just put the plate back on. Once the plate's on, then you can uh, compress the pistons by pressing down on the brake pads, uh, brake pedal. Let's do that now. All right, now that that's back on, all we have to do is put the bolt right back in here. Sorry for the poor lighting quality of the video. Um, I don't get a lot of time out here to make these videos, so uh, 
do the best I can. Now, next thing you gotta do is compress. Compress the pads, pistons, by pressing down on the brakes. Do it slowly. Don't go all the way down. That's all you need to do. Just enough till they get hard. So you can't push anymore. There you go. That's my my point right there. I can't push anymore. That's it. As you can see everything's back in place. Now, next thing you do, take a little brake cleaner, spray the outside of the rotor. If you can, get whatever you can in the back of the rotor. Not all that necessary. So, let's do that now. Here we go. Nice and clean.